evening to our 12th anniversary and we're going to celebrate with God with you all we thank you for being here and we're going to have a great time in the presence of God amen hallelujah I'm just going to read a scripture before we continue with word of prayer and it's from 1 Corinthians 15 and it says therefore my beloved brothers be steadfast immovable always abounding in the work of the Lord knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain Amen. God bless. We thank him for his word. We just want to say welcome each and every one before we bow our heads to offer a word of prayer. Our gracious, loving, and eternal Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day, Father. We thank you, Father, for bringing us, God, from our homes to this place to come back, oh God, to worship you, Lord. We thank you for another week that has gone by, Father. We thank you for all that you've provided, Master. We thank you, Lord, that you've seen us through, oh God, and bring us back here, Father. And as we come, Lord, to honor you today, Father, in your house, to lift up holy hands, Master, to worship and to praise you, God. We thank you for this journey for kingdom life, oh God. As we gather here today, Father, to celebrate our 12th anniversary, Father, we pray, God, your presence is going to be in this place, oh Master. We thank you for all the things that you've done for them, Lord, throughout that 12 years, God. And we know, Lord, that you're not going to stop there, Father. But this year, it's going to be a new year, a new dimension, Father. There's going to be a new breakthrough, Father, for kingdom life as we continue the journey, Lord, that you've called Pastor Dave, Lord, to lead us, Father. We pray, God, you're going to bless your manservant, Lord. We pray you're going to bless Pastor Dave today and his family, God, as they continue the journey, Lord. We pray for each and every one here today, Father. You're going to pour out a special portion, oh God, that they would not leave the place the same the way they came in, Father. We pray, God, you're going to bless each and every one, God. You're going to take control of the service, Father. We present our worshipers and our instrument players before you, Master. For we know, Lord, that your power is going to pour out in this new way through them today, God. As we bring this as an offering to you, Master that it will be holy and acceptable in your presence, oh God. You're gonna do a new thing in this place today, this afternoon, oh God. A new energy, a new grace, a new portion, Lord. A new anointing, Father, as a manservant, bring forth the word, oh God. You're gonna pour out a new portion, oh Father, that somebody would be blessed, somebody would be touched, oh God. That it would not be the same, Father. We commit this service into your mighty hands, Lord. Even those that are continuing to come in, you're going to bring them safely, God. And we decree and declare, Lord, that the angels are in the atmosphere. The service, Lord, that's going to be orchestrated to perfection, oh God. That everything said and done, Lord, is not to honor us, but to honor you, Father. And we will be grateful, Lord, because we are grateful for all the power you've given us, Lord. For all that you've provided, oh God. For all that you've done, what you're doing, and what you will continue to do, Father. We present it into your hands. In Jesus' holy and matchless name, I pray. Amen. Amen. We bless you, God. We give you praise. We know. Jesus, we are, we are a chosen generation, called for to show his excellence. We thank you, Jesus, oh God, that you chose us, oh Lord God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God, that your presence is about to explode into this place, oh Lord God. God, we know that we are here for an anniversary service, oh God. But, oh God, we're expecting for more of your presence, God. We're expecting for more of you to come and flow, oh God. Oh God, come and take over the worship, God, for it's yours, oh Lord. Let you inhabit our praises, oh God, Lord. Let you inhabit, oh God, every part of this atmosphere, oh God, Jesus. Oh God, as we've come, oh God, Lord, to feast on you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you have called us. chosen 
generation Call for to show his excellence All I require for life God is given Baby, it's I know who I am I know who God says I am What he says I am Baby, it's I know who I am I know who I am Oh, I know who I am
God, we just thank you. Just take this opportunity just to go around and greet each other in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen.
need to carry these burdens. We can put it on the Lord. If you place your burdens on to the Lord, He will sustain you. Give it to Him. Hallelujah. Come on, let's wave. Let's wave. Come on, let's wave our hands. Hallelujah. And feel the atmosphere. The glory of God is here. It's in the temple. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reach out. I hear the song says. Reach out and touch the Lord. As he passes by. Father, we've just so blessed you, God. Truly, we give ourselves away. We give the praises up to you, God. We will bless you at all times, Lord. We give our pains to you. We give our burdens, God. God, we give our worries to you, God, because you said, God, that if you take your burdens to me, you will sustain me. Hallelujah, you will sustain us, Lord. So God, we give it all to you. God, you're the lifter above our heads, God. You're the one that we ache for. You're the one that we cry out to, Lord. You're the very essence of our being, God. Oh God, you're the sum of our hearts, God. Hallelujah, God. Without you, God, life will have no meaning. So we give ourselves to you, Lord. Such an awesome God you are. We will bless you, God. We will bless you at all times, God. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you. Amen. Oh, I don't mean to keep up with somebody is so they're carrying a heavy burden. Amen. God wants to come in there and He wants to take that from you. Because he loves you so much. He died for you. He's, he's, he's interested in the very intricacies of your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God loves you with an everlasting love. He had you on his mind when he hung on the cross. Hallelujah. So give it to him. Give it. Give it to him. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In your presence, God, there's fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there's pleasures forevermore. Hallelujah. Come and rest. Rest in him. Rest in him. Rest in him. Rest in him. Hallelujah. See yourself just placing your head on your father's lap. And resting in his embrace. Hallelujah. Rest in him. Thank you, Lord. Rest in him. Rest. Rest in him, my child, my son, my daughter, my children. Rest in me. Rest in me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The spirit is wailing for someone. I know we have a program. I know. But the spirit is wailing. In Jesus' name. Give it to him. Give it to him. 
of God. I was fine. I was all primped up. And you know something, just the presence of God, it just makes everything okay. It just makes everything so wonderful. And I just bless the Lord. I thank you. I bless you. I bless God in Jesus' name. Come on, can we give the Lord a round of applause? Surely he's an awesome God. Wouldn't you say? He's awesome. Amen. As we stand here, we would like to welcome you to our 12th anniversary. The 12th anniversary of Kingdom Life Ministries. Come on, give us, give us a round of a hand. Surely, look what the Lord has done. Look what he has done. And we greet you in the precious name of Jesus. Surely this is our 12th anniversary. And we thank God through many dangers, toils, and snares. We want to welcome you on behalf of our Pastor David Yankin, our Pastor Angie, then our Pastor Raphael, and our Pastor Rosa. Amen. We want to welcome you, all the ministerial staff here and the laity. We'd like to welcome you in the precious name of Jesus. We pray that this time, even for the onlooking viewers, we pray that this time that you have latched into us, that you, men, will be blessed. Amen. That you latch into the anointing and whatever is troubling you today, whatever you need, if you latch into the anointing, God is going to meet you at your point of need in the name of Jesus. Truly, amen, the 12th anniversary, truly the significance of 12. It's a symbol of faith, the church, and divine rule. It signifies perfection of government or rule. It represents authority and appointment and completeness. You know, the scripture, all of this is, you know, you get it, you read it up, and you write it down. But to me, all it's saying that after you have suffered a while, God said that he will establish us. After you've gone through your pains and your suffering and your trials and your tribulations and you hang in there. And I'll tell you something, there's a reward that comes. And this we can say that from the inception of Kingdom Life Ministries until now, there has been much ups and downs. But we thank God for the persevering pastor that we have. We thank God for the persevering laity. I mean, those who stuck it out and now today we can celebrate those 12 years that God has brought us through amen things you set things in place in the name of Jesus amen God amen the anointing of God is prevalent in our house today can't you feel it in the name of Jesus God is just an awesome God let's give God a round of applause hallelujah awesome God I just love him today. I just love him. And I know you do too. We would like to salute all the visitors, amen, all the visiting pastors that we have I'm up here, amen, so that we can call you to give greetings to us. And we'll be so I'm blessed to have you in our midst today. Amen. I, I bless God for Pastor Rosa. Amen, amen, my long time. All of you I bless God for, but this is my buddy from a long time. And I thank God, amen, to see her. Amen. She is... How to say cutting records now? We have celebrity in the house. 
I mean, let's give celebrity a round of applause. Let's give celebrity a round of applause. Amen. And we thank God for her. We bless God for her. Truly at this time, and then we're going to um, call the pastors to give you greetings. And um, we are going to um, ask you to, uh, for two minutes. Amen. A maximum of two minutes that you will come. Because as the time going, it's supposed to snow tonight. Amen. So we want you to come in. And the first person that we are going to call, amen, is none other than our Apostle Leeton and Sister Cheryl Rose. Amen. As they come and bring greetings. Truly wonderful people of God. They were here with us. They helped us. Amen. And we thank God for them. We are always blessed to have them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We love you all. May God continue to bless you to just do everything that he wants to do in, through, with, and for you so that you will continue to bring the culture of God to this earth. Amen. We love you. Ditto. Everything she says, we love you. We thank God for you. Uncle Leighton and Auntie Cheryl, they're at our house. And we are here to just support and strengthen and just be with you. We 12 is my favorite number. I could not miss this for anything. Amen. Be especially because of the divine rule, the divine government. Amen. So may the Lord continue to bless and prosper, strengthen, and give you great peace. And this is not the benediction, but I need to give this microphone back. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give a round of applause again. We thank God for this wonderful couple, pastors. Amen. At this time, we're going to call our Apostle Lionel Etwaru and Pastor Wilfred as they come up. Amen. We've known these pastors for a long time and we just bless God. Truly a champion in the faith in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. And I was thinking that uh, before you get to 12, you have to go through 11. And they tell me that 11 is the number of confusion. You see, after Judas betrayed Jesus, only 11 disciples were left. And so they had to fill the gap so we can come to number 12 of proper government. So we want to congratulate you, sir. And first lady, I, I owe you. I owe you a bouquet of flowers. I owe you a bouquet of flowers. We were hastening to come so we can find parking. But many times we always commend the men. And somehow we forget the women. That the men cannot operate without the women. My mentor used to say, the men can kick up dust that they are the head. But the woman is the neck. So the head can't operate without the neck. So while we give him congratulation and all the applause, he could not have done it without you. So we want to applaud you. And to, to the house, to the house, our great challenge while we celebrate is not to forget our purpose. The building inspector is going to come one of these days to inspect what we are building. And if you ever been in any situation, when was it? Last Tuesday, they had to come to inspect our boiler. And I was nervous because these guys find every little fault for the inspection. I want to challenge us that may God help us in our building. We will build according to the blueprint. So that when the inspector comes, he will pass what we have done. Keep pressing on and let and never give up. My, I know my two minutes up. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I just want to say... Um, the word of God says, be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you will reap if you not faint. 
Amen. Amen. That's the word of the Lord. Amen. Let me just thank God for those wonderful words coming from these two wonderful men of God. And at this time, I didn't see Pastor Judy. That's why I didn't call her. But it's so wonderful to see Pastor Judy. And she happens to be Judy Singh. Um, happens to be the sister of our Pastor Angie. So we want you to put your hands together. She comes and greets us in the name of Beacon Tabernacle Ministries. God bless you all. So good to see everybody here today, tonight. And we're here to celebrate with Kingdom Life Ministries and to celebrate their 12 years. It's been, it hasn't been an overnight 12 years, but 12 years of hard work. But I'm here to read a scripture for you. The Bible says, I'm confident of this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I know Pastor Dave liked that one. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. To Pastor Dave and Pastor Angie, congratulations on behalf of Beacon Tabernacle. We bring you greetings, we bring you love, and we want you to know that we celebrate in your success. We celebrate in the strengthening because when you work in this vineyard, at the end of the day, it's for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. So we need, we need in this time to go out there and save souls like we used to do years ago. Get out there and evangelize and do things that we used to do years ago that we don't do anymore. So as you wait on the Lord, may God raise you up, succeed you, and bless you in all that he has called you to do. I love you all. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Judy. Amen. We bless God for those wonderful words. Um, we, we're going to ask if um, Congregacion Christiana is in the house. Okay. Thank you, Lord. At this time, we're going to call up our Minister Kenneth Chai Hong. Amen. From More Than Conquerors Global Ministries. Amen. As he comes and greets us, let's put our hand together for him. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. First, I just want to honor God, who is the head of my life, and honor your pastor, Pastor David Yankana, and his beautiful wife, Pastor Angie. God bless you all, and to all of the visiting pastors. Uh, I'm from More Than Conquerors Global Ministries. Greetings from my pastor, Bishop Peter Pofaro. I believe you have visited us at least on one occasion. So he sends his greetings, and my word of encouragement today is that you all here at Kingdom Life continue to submit yourselves to who God has put in charge of you. Because it's when we allow ourselves to get out of order that things break down. Praise God. So continue to fight this fight soberly, always watching and praying. God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank God for you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for all the words of greetings. And um, we pray that God bless you and keep you and your ministries in the name of Jesus. So at this time, we're going to call forth, amen, a new and blossoming group in Kingdom Life Ministries. And we're going to call up our pastor, Raphael, brother Jerome, and brother Anthony as they come in and give us a special worship presentation. Let's put our hands together as they come. Amen. the Lord. Truly, it's wonderful to be here tonight. We just could stand as we enter into another aspect or another level of worship. Amen. <clears throat> just take five seconds just to give God some praise. Come on. Amen. Let's just open up and give him some praise. He's deserving. Jesus, He's yes. so deserving of worship. Hallelujah. He's so deserving of praise. 
There can never be any amount of words that can, oh God, ascribe to you, oh God. But God, we thank you for who you are, Jesus. That God, that you are worthy, that you sit on to, oh God, the highest throne, oh God. That there's nobody greater than you, God. There's none beside you, Jesus. You have no rival, God, but you are the absolute God. And God, we thank you, oh God, for your sovereignness. We thank you for reigning over us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, when this seems to be, oh God, no way, God, that you make a way, God. God, we celebrate. We celebrate you on today, God. We not only celebrate the church, God, but we celebrate you, oh God. Oh God, because without you, we couldn't have made it, God. Without you, oh God, we couldn't have crossed this bridge, God. And God, we know it's by your hand, God. We know it's by only by you, Jesus. So God, we celebrate you in this place. We celebrate your name, God. We celebrate you, Jesus. We celebrate who you are, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, God, thank for you, who Lord. you are, Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. All right.
you but hallelujah this is called celebration time and we are celebrating what the Lord has done hallelujah for this great ministry kingdom life come on somebody we are celebrating 12 and we thank God for the 12 kingdom life has made 12 and the song we're going to be singing is I give God all the glory and we give him all the honor. how many of you know that God deserve all the glory how many of you know that God deserve all the honor and God deserves all the praise. Because if it had not been for the Lord, where would we have been today? Come on, somebody. I could get ex real excited here. Because if you know what the Lord has done, hallelujah. And I thank God for Pastor Dave and Pastor Angie. Hallelujah. Yeah. Pray! 
Come on, get ready to dance. Give me some room because we're going, we do it like this. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh huh. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you my life. I give you praise. I give you wonderful group and you know what I like about it is that amen we are becoming um, um, bilingual and we thank God for having our bilingual community we are our bilingual pastors our Spanish speaking pastors with us amen amen pastor Rosa pastor Raphael amen I mean work in conjunction with our pastor David and our pastor Angie amen and I thank God that we are breaking down the barriers of language 
I thank God for them. Amen. I, let's give them a round of applause. Amen. We thank God. We salute them today also. Along with our Pastor David and our Pastor Angie. Let's give them a round of applause too. Amen. Truly, we have good leadership. And I thank God for being in this house. I thank God, amen, for the years I've been here from, for, um, since the inception. And I just thank God for having good leadership. I praise God for praying people. I just praise God, amen, the, the anointing of God, amen, because his anointing comes and sets upon them. And I thank God, amen, that the oil from the top flows into the, uh, the, the, the body. And I thank God. And I thank God that, amen, we are at a place where, amen, we, the Bible tells us that, amen, we can ask God, ask what we will. If we abide in him and he abides in us, then we can ask what we will and he will give it on to us. And I thank God that when we get good word and God teaching and good correction and good, and good all that God has said that we should have, amen, we truly we are a prospering people. It may not look as though we have it financially, but our spirits are, and our hearts and our souls are fat in the Lord. The Bible says if you be humble and obedient, you shall eat the fat of the land. And I thank God. I just thank God for them in Jesus' name. Truly at this time, I mean, I saw I mean, a great woman of God who walked into the church just now. I mean, truly she is a great friend of mine also, and she's become a, a friend of Kingdom Life. And uh, I want her to come and give greetings. I know it's, it's just a little bit off because um, we were supposed to go on to the other part, but I want her, she just walked in to come. I don't want her to come all the way from Coney Island and then not give us a word of greeting. Truly, she has a <laughs> prophetic ministry, and it is an honor to know her in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Prophet Adrian, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Even for the shift now. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm on time. Amen. Because I was doing my father's business. Amen. But I thank God for all of you. Amen. Hallelujah. So nice to be in the house of the Lord. To celebrate with the saints of God. Amen. Hallelujah. God is doing something special in this church. Amen. Hallelujah. I just... I, just say, I hear the 12 tribes, amen. Hallelujah, God is good, amen. Hallelujah, this is the 12th year, the 12th anniversary, amen. Oh, Rabashi Katabaha, oh, Ye Kalabashantaha, oh, God, Yaya Katabaha, oh, God, we thank you, God, oh, Ye Kalabaha, as we obey you, God, oh, God, thank you for pastors, oh, God, pastor, oh, Ye Kalabaha, God has been so good to you. So merciful, oh God. Oh, ye katabaha. God is using you this time. Man of God. Hallelujah. I hear God said chosen. He has chosen you. Amen. He has chosen this body. Amen. Hallelujah. To do his work. Amen. Hallelujah. This time. Amen. Hallelujah. The true worshipers shall come forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for the greatness. Thank you, God, for, hallelujah, using this flock. Oh, God, for this generation. Amen. Hallelujah. We are one in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Let God break all the yokes, all the bondage, all the blindfold. God, remove it. Hallelujah. That you will see where God is taking you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the increase. Hallelujah. You're going to have your own bills building, the Lord say. Hallelujah. I see you moving. Again. This is too small for this church. Amen. Hallelujah. This is too small. When I came to the street, I see dead air. There shall be life. You will have your own parking lot, says the Lord. All the monies. Hallelujah. You say money. There will be money. There there will be a bank in this church. Uh, hallelujah. God will give uh, to your bosom. Uh, God is an awesome God. Uh, God is stretching you uh, as you believe uh, and trust him. Hallelujah. God is outpouring. A woman of God, even your body, I hit the Lord, touching and healing. 
Hallelujah. He called up Ashanta. The devil trying to bring you down. I tried to sift you. But God said, I am your armor. I'm your shield. You shall not be depressed. God is using you, woman of God, this time to bring forth his true servants, his true sheep. I know the task is hard. But God said, he, ha, 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 he who started a good work will surely complete it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, pastor. God said, I'm warning you. But everyone that says, Lord, Lord. God said, I give you the warning and the discernment. You shall discern them. I shall even visit you in dreams. Hallelujah. Many of them coming. Hallelujah. They will come said listen to me son listen to me son listen to me my chosen i have chosen you i have called you my tribe i have called you to lead i've called you my son this is the 12th year hallelujah and god is doing something great hallelujah as you obey him in spirit and in truth and over this church every life here hallelujah god is extending hallelujah even concerning your your jobs and business god is enlarging it god is a good god hallelujah he's merciful hallelujah he's true hallelujah is real hallelujah thank you jesus christ of nazareth no remain faithful i hear god said remain faithful remain faithful and you shall reap said the lord oh god it's a sophasia hallelujah hallelujah i hear god said to be humble continue to be humble hallelujah there's a lot of wealth in you ye and you shall give into the bosom of the lord and god said i will pour more and more and more in you uh, hallelujah god said i'm doing a new thing uh, even the house situation uh, god said i bless you with houses uh, and lands uh, you shall go into nations uh, and declare my name said the lord hallelujah lord we seal every word with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Surely we thank God for her in the name of Jesus. We thank God, amen, for um, Prophet Adrian and thank God for just that word. Truly we met her, amen. She came to um, as a substitute teacher where we work and we sat on the couch. Um, and actually, because I'm always looking for somebody who I could pray with, you know, always looking on the, on the job. And I remember her coming, and we, we, she worked with me, and we sat on the couch, and we started to talk. And then um, we started to share, and we started to pray, and she started to prophesy to me all the things from even when I was small. She started prophesying to me, and we've been friends. This has been many, many years since then, and I thank God for her, a faithful friend, faithful in the name of Jesus. Never take down in the midst of the trials and the tribulations that we have seen her going through. She was always here praising God. And I thank God for her. Amen. At this time, we're going to call forth a wonderful woman of God. Amen. Amen. What, she is our pastor's rib. Amen. She walks side by side with him. And I'm glad that Pastor Lionel amen, said what he said. Truly. Amen. Because she... she he can never be who he is without her. And I thank God for her today. We appreciate her. And many times we don't say it, but we appreciate you. And we celebrate you, woman of God. In the name of Jesus. So at this time, she's going to... Amen. Let's give her a round of applause. Of, amen. Thank you, Lord. At this time, we're going to bring forth our Pastor Angie. As she comes with greeting and updates about KLM. Amen. Put your hands together for her as she comes. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Bless the Lord. It's good to see everyone in the house of the Lord this tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. I missed service this morning. Amen. We canceled the service so we can have this going on this afternoon. But God is good. Amen. And it's so wonderful to have all the apostles, all the pastors and ministers men and women of God, you know, friends, family, it's wonderful to have you celebrate with us. 12 years is really an awesome year. Amen. 
as this day said, its leadership is government. You know, it represents so much, but we thank God that we are able to celebrate 12 years of God's existence on this earth. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, it is said that uh, a journey of 10,000 miles begins with a single step. Since the first step was taken obedience to the leading of the Holy Spirit on the conquest of fulfilling our heavenly mandate as a local church and kingdom community, we are grateful to be celebrating our 12th year journey and milestone. Amen. We got to get God a clap for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Through the high and through the lows, valleys and mountains, as well as the unknown and the, the known, God has been faithful to us every step of the way. And to God be the glory for that. Amen. We have been called to position ourselves for transition in this 12th year by the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit whom is taking us into dimensions and dominions, a journey into the miraculous and supernatural, and I should say unknown as well. Amen. Praise God. Which is important to, to who we are as citizens of heaven, thus um, exemplifying the awesomeness of our God in the world that we live in. Amen. So this is spiraling down into deep darkness to give hope and to be salt and light that in this, human, in this humanity that we live in. Amen. That humanity will turn from the power of this world and submit themselves to the government of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. So in 2007, we started from a basement. 2008, we celebrated our first anniversary at Chate Royal, now known as Richie Rich. And we rented there for a couple of months because we have overgrown the dwelling place. In 2008, we settled upstairs at Golden Palace in Jamaica Avenue. And after a number of years renting the upstairs, we had to rent the downstairs because of the overflow on a Sunday. Amen. God has been truly great with us. And we are not a perfect church. We have our shares of troubles. But I'm telling you, God has called what men and women into our lives to help us. At the times when we were down and out and couldn't go more further, they lift up our hands and they took us through. Amen. So this is why we were able to do these things that we are doing. Amen. In June of 2018, we stepped into this building, which was just a shell. Amen. And was trying and transformed it into a beautiful sanctuary. And in October 2018, we, we, we opened our doors. Amen. And this is what we call stepping into faith. Amen. And I just want to interject. Last week, um, Pastor Raphael was moderating. And during the course of the week, I had uh, someone call me. And he said, it's time for you guys to move. I'm like, what? We just move in this building. We can't move already. But God knows it all. As, as, a, pos as a prophetess, Adrian said, you know, our lives is in his hands. If we have to move, we bless God. We have to move. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God is good. You know, some of these are some of our accomplishments for the 12 years we had established. You know, the first church in Queens that had a curry dog competition. <laughs> Amen. So and everyone is welcome to come during the summertime. We have it at Valley Stream State Park. Come with your pot duck and your supplies. Amen. And we have a grand time. Amen. In the, and also, uh, these are some of the ministries that are dear to us that during the 12 years that we have as, uh, established, you know, uh, 2006, we started a ministry at Windsor Nursing Home, you know, and we, it, is, it is dear to my heart as well as Pastor Dave, you know, because we go and we minister on a Wednesday morning to the residents, and, um, you know, we see some, see we, they, we led them to the Lord, and then after some of them passed away, even the dear pastor that, that had a divine connection to connect us to that Windsor Nursing Home had passed away too. Amen. But we thank God that we had, we had made a lot of impact in that, that place. Amen. Amen. They look so forward to come, you know, and have church with us. Amen. And some of, some of the people there are, are people that were deaconess and, and diff ministers in the gospel. And I thank God that through them that we have intercessors that are praying for us in the nursing home. Amen. Amen. So God is, is raising up people anywhere. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
six years ago, we opened, uh, a door was opened for us in the Queen's Public Television. And with the skill IT of Minister Freddie, we pursued this. And we can now can be viewed on Wednesdays and Sundays. And we have a viewing audience, you know, that, that calls and, and, and they are touched by the word that's been delivered through the TV. And we thank God for this because we are taking any opportunity to spread the word of God t today. Amen. And this is what, what we are called to do, to preach the gospel to the uttermost part of the world. And, you know, five years ago, a beautiful couple walked into our lives, into our church, you know, and they brought culti a culture into our, our ministry. And they culturized our ministry bilingually. Yeah. Amen. No other than Pastor Raphael and Pastor Rose, and we thank God for them. Amen. Praise the Lord. They brought flavor. <laughs> Sasson, yes. <laughs> so our um, services can we also be viewed on Facebook Live. This is when we jumped in when, when a couple of years ago Facebook became live. We were there, you know, and right now we have a viewing audience on, on the Internet. And I just want you guys to do something practical. If the camera um, person can uh, zoom in and just say the, con the congregation, say hello to everyone on, on the on the internet. Amen. Say good big God bless you. Amen. There is a camera. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are able, we are also able to partner with churches from different countries amidst every crisis that happened. We try as much as possible to go out into the different, con send uh, supplies to the different countries. And uh, we even help at, at Far Rockaway with the Sandy Storm. Amen. And uh, you may see us distributing lunches and clothes to the needy. This is one of our great passion here as well. Amen. And we, most of all, we always stand and make sure that our church family have in time of their utmost need. Amen. Because we all believe charity begins at home. Amen. And we thank God for the opportunity to connect locally and globally uh, with network of pastors to share and pray together in building the kingdom of God, because this is what we are about. Amen. We are placed here as a hub in Richmond Hill area where people can find rest, restoration through the word of God and the kind hospitality we offer here, which you would see after the, the service. Amen. And as we move forward, we want to work smart and diligently. That is to pursue the God-given vision and purpose he has given us to do. And time is drawing near when we, ha we must work while it is day. Amen. And we are from different ethnics and different cultures, but we have one goal, and that is to fulfill the purpose of God. Amen. Amen. And I have to just interject this. Pastor Dave says every Sunday to us, you are a designer original. And it's a catchphrase we use here. And it, because it's made, we are made uniquely in the likeness and the image of God. And if you can tell your neighbor tonight, you are a designer original. Amen. You are a designer original. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And as I close, we would like to thank you all, the Kingdom Life family from the inception to now, those who have joined us you know, families and friends, and stood with us, ensuring that we made great strides forward to it, you know, to sharing the vision that was given to us come to fruition forever. We will always be grateful for your love and, and your acts of kindness and your support. Even as we continue this mission in fulfilling God's purpose and mandate that his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. So on behalf of our leadership and the workforce of Kingdom Life Ministries, we convey and pronounce a tremendous outpouring of divine favor and grace upon your life and upon your church. Amen. God bless you all. We love you. Amen. Amen. That, that was Brother Raw. <laughs> and that was our pastor, Angie Yankana. Amen. The first lady of uh, Kingdom Life Ministries. Amen. And we thank God for those updates. Amen. Truly, when we look at it, sometimes we take it for granted that, you know, we're here and we don't look in, in retrospect. We've done, we've come a long way and we thank God. Our church, I just look around and I, I feel 
so wonderful not necessarily for the the beauty of the building because truly the presence of god since we came here the presence of god has come in, in a super way different from the other church and it just lets me that each level and each step of faith that we make in him that god's anointing is going to be poured out to us to another level and i just thank god i'm looking to god for to, to do great things in the name of the lord and truly at this time, we are going to call forth our KLM dance group, truly a wonderful group of young people, amen, and as they come and bless our hearts, amen, with a dance selection. Let's put our hands together. Amen. As they prepare, we're going to ask um, the, uh, this license plate number, HTZ5792, amen, that... Um, yeah. Okay, thank you. Amen. So let's receive our dance group. Amen. With a round of applause again. Thank you, Lord. Truly, it's wonderful to see young people just dancing for the Lord and worshiping the God. There are so many who are out there, but we thank God that they find themselves in the house of the Lord. Amen. And we salute you today, KLM Dance Group. Amen. than the things oh, that could tear me apart. You're bigger than the universe. You're bigger than the sun and the stars. You're bigger than the things, oh my, oh my, that could tear me apart.
The stripes on your back makes you bigger. The stripes on your back. difficulties. You're bigger than the universe, Lord. Hallelujah. He's bigger. He's bigger than your problems. Hallelujah. Isn't it good to know that we serve a mighty God, a big and awesome God, a gigantic God? He stepped out of time, into, he stepped out of space and into time. And I thank God he created time. Hallelujah. From eternity into time. I just thank God for him. I thank God that he just made everything that we feel, everything that we can go through, the very intricate, and I like to say that, the very intricate details of our hearts, the things that we don't share with anyone, God is interested in. Any problems that we can have, I mean, he's bigger than that. And I just thank God. Truly, I mean, I walk every day in love. He blows my mind. I walk every day. And because I know he's an awesome God. He's able to save you from the worst, from the godmost to the uttermost. In my down times, in my high times, truly he's an amazing God. I just bless him today. Thank you, Lord. Truly at this time, amen, we're going to pick up because it's offering time in the temple. And I thank God for this opportunity. Amen, that we have many of us can't sing. Amen, many of us can't dance. We not be able to speak or preach. Amen. But we can give to the Lord. And, and we look around and we see that a lot of work has been done in our church. And we've done by the grace of God. Amen. 
under the anointing of God. We've done some exploits here. And I thank God. So we're looking for you. It's anniversary and celebration time. And, you know, we just passed um, having Valentine's Day, usually when there's something special. And when we give a token. So I want you to get a special offering into your hands. I mean, an anniversary offering. If you, have, if you need an envelope, we have the ushers walking around. I and mean, then you can just... Um, Put your hands up and they'll come and give you one. Amen. So if you need one, just put your hands up. So we're looking for you to make a special sacrifice on today. And as we always say, we don't beg for money because God always sees our needs. <laughs>
Thank you, Lord. He is my daddy, you. Amen. At this hallelujah. At this time. Amen. God is so awesome. 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 Amen. Are we having a good time? Come on. Let's give God a round of applause. Hallelujah. I know it's getting late and, and, and we want to hear the word of God too, but we have a mighty woman of God in our midst. I want to just um, um, state also, reinforce something. I mean, when Pastor Hannah was here on the last time when she spoke, she told us that to get ready to move, that she sees us moving again. I mean, she may not remember it. So um, um, Prophet Adrian just reinforced the word that Pastor Hannah gave at that time. And I thank God. And I want to present to you a mighty woman of God, truly, who has gone through toils and snares for years and really never gave up on God. Amen. Many cries. Amen. I tell you something. God has tremendously blessed me to have her in my life. And truly, she's an encourager. Amen. Always encouraging. And I thank God, amen, that she's a stalwart in the kingdom of God. And I want to present to you none other than our pastor, Irene Hannah. Amen. As she comes forth and blesses us with a sermonic solo in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God, Kingdom Life. Hallelujah. So um, it isn't fair that I get to sing after that, you know. <laughs> I want to do that again. No. <laughs> but um, we're going to move forward with the program. And um, I just want to share Ephesians 3.20. Uh, with you, Pastor Dave, and it's in the, in the Amplified. When you get a chance, if you can look it up in the Amplified version, and it says, Now to him who is able to do, not exceedingly abundantly, but the word there is huper ekporiso in the Greek, and it means super abundantly. And that word only appears, I believe it's twice in the entire Bible. It means that God wants to do above and beyond, and then above and beyond, and then above and beyond that. But it says this in the Amplified, which I love. It says, everything that we dare to ask, dream, hope, believe. Everything that we dare to ask, because sometimes we don't dare ask. And so I want to encourage you with that as you move into, amen, the next phase of your ministry that you dare to ask God for those things that you see in the Spirit. Amen. Praise God. I want to share this song with you. It's a new song that I've been, that I um, was just introduced to a couple of weeks ago. I said, I have to do that 